Hey everyone, another edition of a video here. Haven't made one in a while, but this is a new skill we've been hitting, which is called multiplying fractions and whole numbers. And actually you're going to be seeing in the video as well, multiplying a mixed number by a whole number. So you can see the first one here is 3 times 1 fourth equals question mark or an unknown. And one thing you need to keep in mind is when you see a mathematical equation like this, 3 times 1 fourth, Essentially what that means is you have three groups of one-fourth. So let's look at this on a new page, three times one-fourth, and I'll break this one down. Right, so you have three times one-fourth equals, in this case, I'll use a y. Well, three times one-fourth essentially means you have three groups of one-fourth. So you would have one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. And we learned earlier this year when you're adding fractions with like denominators, four, 4 and 4, your answer would be 3 fourths. That's it. So some of you might look at the original equation up here and realize that when you're multiplying 3 times 1 fourth, essentially what you're doing is multiplying 3 times the 1 and getting 3 fourths as your answer. So let's look at another problem. This one will be 4 times 5 sixths. And we'll say that equals, again, y. Now, you might realize, again, hopefully, what this means is 4 times 5 sixths. It's like saying 4 groups of 5 sixths. So you could do the repeated addition and add 5 sixths plus 5 sixths plus 5 sixths and so on. But it's going to be a lot easier if we just multiply 4 times the 5 and get an answer of 20 sixths. Now, we learned that's called an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the the denominator. So I need to convert that to a mixed number. And in order to do that, what I have to do is look at this group of 20 in my numerator, and I need to make groups of 6, because with a denominator of 6, that means I need 6 pieces to make a whole. So if I pull 6 out of there to make one group of 6, I could pull 12 out and make two groups of 6. I could pull 18 out and make three groups of 6. So I could make three whole and 20 minus my 18 means I would have 2 sixths left, right? So 4 times 5 sixths equals 3 whole and 2 sixths extra. Let's look at another one. In this one you're going to see 3 whole times a mixed number of 2 and 1 fourth. And we'll say this equals x. Again, in this case, this is like saying you have three groups of two and one-fourth. So you could add two and one-fourth plus two and one-fourth plus two and one-fourth. But it might be a little bit easier if you use multiplication. So we'll start by multiplying three times two, and we'll get six whole. And then we're going to multiply three times one-fourth, and we would get three-fourths. Right? So you have six and three-fourths for a final answer. Also realize in this that six and three-fourths could be written or looked at like this, 6 plus 3 fourths. Because in the next problem, what's going to happen is when we multiply a whole number by a mixed number, we're going to get a really strange fraction, which you'll see in a second. And this time, final problem will be 3 times 4 and 7 eighths. And we'll make that equal y again. Now, this is like saying three groups of four and seven eighths. So you could add, but as we've been saying in the video, it's going to be a little bit faster, a little bit easier to do multiplication. And what I want you to think about this time is really what you're doing is you're doing three times four, the whole number, and you're doing three times seven eighths, the fraction. If you multiply three times four, you'll get 12. So we know we're going to have at least 12 whole. If you multiply three times seven eighths, you're going to get 21 eighths. So if you wrote that as an answer, it would look like this, 12 and 21 eighths. And again, that is a strange looking fraction because it's a mixed number, but it has an improper fraction in it. So what we need to do first is we need to take 21 eighths and turn that into a mixed number. Again, pulling groups of eight out of there. I could make one group of eight. Two groups of eight would be 16. Three groups of eight would be 24. I can't make three whole. I only have 21. So I could make two whole. And if I take 16 away from 21, 
I'm going to have 5 eighths left. So for my final answer, it's going to be 12 plus 2 and 5 eighths, which would be a final answer of 14 and 5 eighths. All right. It's going to be a little bit easier. Remember, multiply the whole number by the whole number, multiply the whole number by the fraction, add those two totals together, and you'll end up with your ultimate final answer of 14 and 5 eighths. Feel free to watch the video again, review some others, perhaps even make your own. You can post it on Seesaw, and that will help you, obviously, and help, help people in our class figure out how to multiply a fraction by a whole number or a fraction by a mixed number.